So we're traveling up the Drake Passage to Antarctica, and those are the roughest seas in the world. And we decided to shoot a cooking video. The only problem was that none of the camera guys actually wanted to shoot it because they had been vomiting for the entirety of our journey. So as you can see, we shot this mostly GoPros and tried to capture what it was like to be cooking on the high seas. Hello, good evening, everybody. We are here in the Drake Passage. And tonight we want to cook uh, a meal we call lentejas, lentils, lentil soup. Traveling to Antarctica over the Drake Passage takes about four days on a sailboat. I didn't even know that people actually took sailboats to Antarctica. That, that was something I learned when arriving. So if you'll notice that there are padded walls in this place, because people will go flying around, you can see the stove is on a gimbal that uses gravity as opposed to just the alignment of the boat. In case the boat is at a 45 degree angle, you can still, still cook things. Tell me about this dish. Where did you learn to cook this? I came from Spain, huh? from Madrid. Uh, lentils is a, a dish which is very popular in Spain, easy to do, and quick, which is important in direct passage. Spend less time in the kitchen. This is sort of like a sport in a way, right? <laughs> it is. Just now I'm cutting some garlic, but I'm not relaxing at all. In the boats, always there is a higher percent of humidity. So it means sometimes the fire is not working. No, then you have to find a solution, which is the simple one with matches. So now we let the garlic get dark and we go for the onions and potatoes. OK, huh? great. So uh, it's like climbing a wall sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Now, let's just chop the onions. So you have no choice, you have to cook quickly. I'm not a professional sailor, full time. My parents, they bring me every summer to the coast, south coast of Spain. It was my first contact with the sea. And, yeah. Uh, I love it. I noticed that you are not immune to seasickness. You still sail and get sick sometimes and you just have to keep yeah, going? Of course. I'm not the best sailor in the world. I get sick. Vicente is a pretty hardcore dude. I mean, he was directing us and teaching us how to be at sea. But within the first day, I think he vomited 50 times. And I'm not joking. He was constantly puking over the side of the boat. I'd never seen anyone vomit that much. I said to him, is this rare? Is this an especially rocky journey? And he's like, no, I do this every time. To be seasick, is, uh, for me, is part of the sailing. It's like a Drake Passage cleanse. <laughs> Let's go for some spices. Okay. Pimenton dulce, which means it has to be flavor, but yeah. not hot. Two men don't usually cook together in this one no. space because it's a little tiny, huh? No, I, uh, I appreciate very much your help. Yeah. But uh, it's a little when, harder, I, right. when I cook, I prefer to be alone in the kitchen. I don't want to have anybody around with a knife in their hands. We put some olive oil in it, and then we're gonna join all together. Okay. Here. You can hold for me. Sure. Teamwork. Thank you. So, so we have everything on on the pot. Mix it. Yeah. We have the fire on low, and now we have to put the meat on. I'll let you go by. Bacon is down in the floor. Yeah. With the. Fresh dairy products like eggs, milk, cream, butter. So here is the bacon. We get it. Wow. It was easy this time, huh? Yeah. Okay. Vicente, like a lot of people from Spain and Italy, really into pork. So he tried to put pork into everything. And underneath the floorboards, we found out was a treasure of cured meats and wine. Why would you spend your life rocking back and forth on a boat like this? Well, there is something on in the boats, in the sailing boats, which it makes me feel, uh, I don't know, free, if we can use this term. Yeah. In the middle of the ocean, in the high latitudes. You have the feeling that you can do anything you want, you can go anywhere you want. It's pretty cold often in the Drake and chilly, so why is a good hearty meal like this important? The body gets tired a lot. We use every muscle, we use the brain, we sleep no much. So then we need a lot of protein, we need a lot of vitamins. So fresh food is important. So now we are mixed all together. Yeah. We're gonna join some 
cubes, chicken stock. We're gonna use two of them. It's a big pot, it's a big soup. So we have the lentils here. I use all the bag. We have also some peas. We will use only the half of the bag. And then we mix together, all together. Again, put water in it. So here we have some wine. This wine is very, very sweet. Okay. Uh, very sweet and dry. A whole bottle. A whole bottle. A whole bottle. I think that Vicente was making the kind of food that you imagine that like sailors in the 1900s who are traveling in a wooden boat to Antarctica would make. Something that just was a hearty bean stew with indiscriminate parts of animals in it. Okay. So now, now the last thing is salt. Huh? You yeah. have to be sure it's enough salt in it. Okay. So we want to use this salt. So now we close. We're gonna wait till the fire make boiling and start sifling. Okay. You know, like make a small sound. Yeah. And then by this time we lower the fire and we let go for another 10 minutes. Okay. Ah, after 10 minutes it's ready to eat. Excellent. Huh? All right. Ready. It was the kind of thing that like kept you warm, made you feel full, and was like easy to get down. Probably also easy to come up as well. Uh, I will say that two or three, three meters waves yeah. with uh, 25 to 30 knots of wind. We are uh, 150 miles to Cape Horn. So we're gonna have a soup in the middle of the most uh, difficult and dangerous place for sailing in the world. Okay. So we were lucky that when Vicente actually finished making the stew, we were able to sit outside and just enjoy the open seas in Antarctica. Just a little here. Okay. All right. So, okay. it's romantic. Bon appetit, Vikram. Okay, yes, thank you. Good.